hello everyone in this video we're going to create this welding effect with the geometry nodes it is completely procedural you can use this onto any mesh object and you can do the welding with the curve object i have also made a preset for this you can get that from these links so let's add a plane this is going to be our base mesh onto which we're going to do the welding okay so later we can change this into any object so let's create a geometry node so this is going to be our weld modifier next we're going to add the curve so let's add a curve then bring that here so the first step is to resample this curve and store it is tangents so that we can use later in the material node next uh, we're going to convert this curve into a mesh and for this we need to supply the profile so let's add the curve line and here we're going to type negative 0 0.5 0 0.5 and 0 basically i want the length of this curve to be one meter then add the transform geometry node so that we can control the size after that we're going to resample this line with the same length parameter okay so let's output this as a parameter for this modifier here okay so let's use this for the profile now let's combine these together so now we have this profile based on this curve so let's add a value node so this is going to be the radius of this or you can say the width of the welding stream this should be around 0 0.06 okay and it should be parallel to the surface so for that we have to change the normal of the curve so we can use the new node that is the set curve normal node and we can change this to free by default it is along the z axis that's why this profile or this line is parallel to the surface but here we're going to use the normal of the surface so let's add the sample surface node and then add the normal node so with this setup it will be always parallel to the surface even if we deform this uh, surface and if we redraw the bezier curve onto the surface on this surface we will see that welding line will be on to this surface now you can see that it is always following the deformed surface means it is parallel to the surface uh, but it has slight problem that is it is intersecting at some points so we need to fix that so for that we are going to use the set position node and here we are going to add the proximity node and plug this as the position so this is before let me show you this is before and this is after so now it is on to the surface and after this we have to slightly offset along the surface normal so that we don't get the artifacts while rendering this so let's use these normals which is the surface normal and then we can use this for the offset and offset should be around 0 0.002 or 1 you can increase this if there is some intersection with the surface okay now see it is above the surface next uh, we're going to also store the mask so let's duplicate the store node change this to float and type here mask and this mask is going to be based on the this curve let's add 
the trim node then we're going to add the ks spline edge file of node by the way these nodes are freely available on my gumroad page okay now we have this and for the width we're going to use this radius let's first divide this by two then use this as width so let's see the mask so this is the mask before this division and after this division see so what we want is that the mask should be one at the center of this strip and zero at the outer edge okay and with this trim option let me show you this mask we can easily animate this mask or we can animate the welding that's why this trim is here one thing i forget is that we have to also blur the tangents because if the curve have really a uh, sharp bends then it may create a problem so we need to blur these tangents with the blur node okay so now we have this setup now let's build the material and then we're going to add the particles and also fix some of the problems that i'll show you later so let's add the set material node first create the material for the base mesh let's make this metallic roughness around 0.1 then we're going to create the second material that is for the welding see we have this now let's add the texture coordinate node then we need the attribute node here we're going to use the object coordinates first we're going to offset these coordinates based on the tangent that we stored to the mesh and how much we want to offset that we're going to use the mask okay let's add the vector scale node plug this into this and here we're going to add the float curve node and after that we're going to add the multiply node so this node is going to control the offset strength of these coordinates based on the tangent and this float curve node is going to decide the shape for the welding stream you can change this shape according to your need okay then we're going to add the noise texture and next we're going to add the bump node use this for the height and then add the multiply node and use this for the strength around 0.35 let's plug this into the normal let's make this metallic and roughness around 0 0.05 see we have this let's make this scale around 10 and with this you can increase the detail I think we have to slightly decrease the offset. See, with this, you can even change the direction. Okay. Negative point two is fine. Okay. So let's also use this mask for the alpha because we want to fix these outer edges and it is also important when we want to add the variation to the width of this welding stream profile changes to alpha clip okay now let's add the color variation uh, to this welding stream let's duplicate this noise use this color for the vector and then we are going to mix them 0.35 
and after that we going to use the color ramp node to create the colors for this okay let me first show you the importance of this so this is the black and white texture based on this noise if we mix this noise with this see we have more details so that's why this is important okay maybe 15 yes so for the color we can add a blue color for this side and for this we're going to use the sand color something like that and after that we can add the hue color node so that we can shift the color as well as the change the saturation around 0.65 and this should be around 0.53 slightly in the purple shade maybe 0.6 So you can play with this uh, hue to get different color according to your need. Okay. So now we have the material for our welding. Now let's add the particles and add the variations to this stream and also make these edges round. So let's first make these edges round. So for this, we are going to add another trim node. So with this value, we can basically make this round. This should be around 0 0.035, 0 0.02, 0 0.02. Let me increase the sampling. Yeah, this is fine. So now we have fixed the edges. Now let's add the variation to the width. So basically we are using the noise based on this radius to add the variations. Maybe 0.3. See, we have a slight variation in the width, a nice detail. So this is a variation to the width of this welding stream. Now let's add the particles. First, we're going to add the distribute point node, then add the instance on points, and we're going to instance the icosphere. The radius should be 0 0.005 to subdivision then we need to realize this because we're going to use the same material then we also need to store the mask because our material is driven by the mask okay let's make this one and then we're going to join them with the stream before this set material node see we have these particles let's make them shade smooth make this 150 and we're going to also add the variation for the scale so let's first add the vector scale node then add the random node and here we're going to add the switch node make this one and two so these are the bigger one and these are the small particles and here we can add another random boolean node so we can control the frequency of these bigger particles maybe around 0.15 we can also add the integer node and with this we can control the these seed values okay you can see that these particles are everywhere but we need to only scatter these particles near to this welding stream so we can achieve that using this ks spline edge follow node just duplicate this one 
disconnect this follow width and use this for the selection and with this width we can basically control the distribution of these particles you can also add the noise for this width to add some variations okay so these are the particles for the welding okay so this is how you can create the welding effect with the geometry nodes you can use this onto any object you can get these project files and all my assets from my patreon page i hope you learned something from this video if you like then please like the video and subscribe to my channel for more updates and if you want to support me you can support me through my patreon page or you can buy my presets so see you in the next video happy noding bye